It's haul season. Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Remy Madison. If you're a new viewer and you're just joining me for the first time to check out my bikini haul, make sure before we get into today's video, you pause this one, go down somewhere below and hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on so you can get notified every time that I upload. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite suit of the day is. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at Remy Madison and on TikTok at Remy Madison for some more outrageous content. So now we can get into today's video. So if you can tell by the title, today is a, a long-awaited video of every summer. Everyone looks forward to doing this video and I planned on doing it weeks ago, but I had to wait a while for the Zaffle packages. I know, Zaffle takes forever, but they're here, they arrive. So, here we are. Just me. And you. So let's jump right in. Today is going to be a try on haul. I'm going to give you my honest review, my honest opinion of all the suits that I've got today. I'm going to show you them, tell you my size, price, everything you need to know. And if you're interested in buying the suits, I'm going to try and link them down below so that you guys can check them out for yourselves. So without further ado, let's get into today's haul. So this is the first bathing suit. I actually thought this was gonna be my least favorite of all the ones I got, but this actually turned out to be one of my favorites. So this is just their strapless tie-dye blue one. Um, it has a really cute cut in the center and you can cinch it in, cinch it out, whatever you like. It's ruched, it has padding in it. Um, it's strapless, but it has straps that you can attach or remove if you like, which is always a bonus. And the back is just two different drawstrings that you can tie, which is really nice. So it's not just the one. And it's really cute detail. As for the bottoms, I love the bottoms. I have to say Zaffle has stepped up their quality since last year. Last year, none of the bottoms fit me properly. They were either too big or the lining was incorrect. And it was just sewn very mismatchy. But this year, it's really good quality. So this is high cut, a little bit high waist. Again, Zaffle is not the best for high waist, as you can see in my last year's video, but it's decent. I would give them that. It's also a reversible bottom, so you can flip it, and it can be black if you like. And it's a reversible front to back, so if you want more booty showing, if you want more of your front showing, up to you. I chose to have more booty showing, so it is a thong back a bit. But overall, really cute. The next one I got is this lilac racer tank bikini. Um, I thought this was going to look a bit better. Of course, what was I thinking? It's Zaffle. So, I got this in a medium, but I do typically have really broad shoulders. I mean, you can tell right now. So, this isn't the best fitting. Um, I'd say that this gives you a lot of under boob, which I don't really like if I'm swimming. The padding that Zaffle, that's one thing that they need to work on. They always use circular padding. But this is a square top bikini, so you need to use square padding or rectangular padding, my friend, because the circles look weird. Overall, I think that the light color shows a lot more, and it shows the padding, so I'm not a fan of that. But I think the color in general is really cute. I don't have any bathing suits this color. And, like, it feels secure. If I didn't have as big shoulders, I'd feel secure in this. It's tight. You could probably swim around in this. I just wouldn't because, again, the underboob moment. For the bottoms, they're not high-waisted, they're high-cut, however, and you can flip them around back to front depending on what you want more to show. This is also a thong back. But yeah, I like this one. It's a cute color, and it's going to be a cute photo op. So I actually ordered two kind of overlays. I thought they were more beach throws, so I ordered two of them without realizing that they were actually bathing suits. So I ordered this cheetah print one that I thought would be like a cover-up, and I actually intended it to go with this purple one. Cute, right? It's a vibe, but it's actually a bathing suit, so it does have padding. Like, you can actually wear it as a bathing suit, and they were out of size large. For example, typically for clothing, I would order a large or extra large because they fit everyone super tiny. And again, I have really big shoulders. So I'll show you what it looks like on. I'm not too happy with this. It doesn't really fit well. So hopefully it loosens up. So I don't know if you can tell on camera. You probably can because I feel like a blubbery thing in this shirt. So this is a medium. I would love a large, but 
they don't have it. And I thought this would be like an overthrow, but it's actually a bathing suit. So it has padding in it. It has a little cinch in the center and you have a drawstring so you can pull it tighter, pull it looser. But like, why would I pull it tighter? It's already at the max of where it can go without being like a booby shirt. And the arms, I have to say, Zaffle, like we work out now. A lot of ladies work out now. These guns do not fit. I'm gonna go, look how much it cuts off my circulation for my bicep. You can see here and here. Like, it. that's also my fault, like I do have bigger biceps, but this is tight beyond normal. So hopefully if I swim, I wear this in the pool, it can loosen up. But like, I still like how it looks, it's cute. I was hoping to wear this with more outfits, like I'm showing here with jean shorts, and then with the lilac bathing suit that I had, but you know, life doesn't work how you planned out. So this is how I intended them to match up. It looks cute, right? Like with the lilac and the cheetah, it's a vibe. I can still take some cool pics in this, you know, just not gonna be flexing or anything. So the next bathing suit I got is this really pretty white strapless bathing suit that has a really cute butterfly detail. The only thing is that, of course, it's strapless. And if you can recall from two minutes ago, I said I hate strapless. I would never feel comfortable wearing this in a pool just because I hate strapless. I always feel so unsupported and like it's gonna fall down. Yeah, I really love the butterfly detail. I think it's super cute and I've already planned a cute photo op for this. The back is very cute as well. It has a bit of a corset tie so you can like lace it up as tight or as loose as you want and then it has a bow tie at the top. The bottom is not high waisted, it's a low waisted high cut bathing suit, just like most of Zappos bathing suits. Okay, so the next bathing suit is another tie dye one. So, this is actually initially the one that I wanted in the other blue color, the triangle bikini, but now that I have it, I'm glad that I got the strapless one. So, this one is just a regular triangle bikini, it has adjustable straps, and in the back, you can just tie it so it's like a normal triangle bikini. The bottoms are a tie string at each side which I thought I'd be a fan of because it looks cute, but honestly, because the tie string can move anywhere, it doesn't feel super secure, and I'm not a fan. And this is not high-waisted at all. This is, like, super low-waisted. And, again, a bit of a thong back, but, like, this one has a bit more coverage just because the tie string, you can adjust it wherever you like. But, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with this one. Originally on the website, the colors were, like, a bright blue and white, so it looked like a cloud. In person, it's like blue, white, purple, and I'm not really about it. And it came with a cover-up top, just like the cheetah one, and I'm not gonna try this on because it fits the exact same as the cheetah one, and that is a not well. This next bathing suit, if you can tell, is obviously gonna be my favorite. I am in love with this color. I love the hot pink and the bubblegum pink mixture. It is gorgeous. So this is the exact same as the one I just showed you, just in the pink tie-dye. Same fit, it has the adjustable straps and the tie in the back, and it has a drawstring tie at the side for the bikini bottom. I love this, and it fits a bit more comfortably where it feels like it's hugging your skin, but I would not wear this swimming. It's super flimsy. I wouldn't feel comfortable swimming in it at all, but this is great for pictures, and we all know I love a pink moment, so if I recommend getting any suit, this is the cutest, in my opinion. This is the last bathing suit I got from Zaffle, and this one's a bit of a scandy, I'm not gonna lie. I got this. I didn't know it would be as scandalous as it is, but I basically thought it would look cool for picture, and you guys are the tiger ambush, and I am a tiger, so I wanted a tiger bathing suit. It doesn't fit, like, super full coverage. The padding's a bit weird based on how I'm looking at it right now, but it's all right. It's like a cute top for lounging. This is like a vacation flex. This is like you go to Miami and you'd wear this. This is not um, Ontario beach flex, I'm just saying. But yeah, if you're looking for something more scandalous, more cheeky, you know, spring break, 21st birthday type of thing, this bathing suit got you covered. But yeah, um, it's a little bit more exposed in the top area than I would like. The bottoms, however, I love. And it is a, like a G-string back, so I'm not going to show that. But yeah. So that concludes today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below which bathing suit was your favorite. And 
You can find them linked down below if you want to purchase any of them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Love you so much, Tigers. Have a great week. Bye.